You're trying to turn it into something else here? I just I just used this rule because I said the derivative of, th uh, what did I start with? 10x cubed plus 4. I did the derivative of this and this separately and said, if I can figure out the derivative of each one separately, I can say that that together is the derivative of this sum, right? If you want the derivative of that sum or difference, it's the individual derivatives added together or subtracted. Okay? That might be sort of obvious, I guess, right? But finding the derivative of the, some function together like that, you find the derivative of the each, each component, each part of the sum. If you want the derivative of sine x plus 5x to the 8th, if you want the derivative of sine x plus 5x to the 8th, as long as you know what each individual derivative is, photographic memory people, Cos x plus, plus what here? 40 x to the seventh. You work out each, <laughs> it's easy when somebody else already says it, you know, but you work out what each individual derivative is, and it's the, the, the derivative is the sum of those two things, right? They each contribute to the rate of change. However fast this is changing, and however fast this is changing, Together, the, those two rates of change happen together. Remember that the derivative is the rate of change. If I if I start, uh, we, we we run a hose from somewhere. We have a supply of water into this room. We turn it on. Okay, the water's coming out. We run another hose in the window here from some other supply of water. They're both dumping water into the room. The water level's rising. They're both individually contributing to the way how fast the water's rising. But if you want to know how fast is the water rising, you combine them together, right? If this is seven gallons per minute and that's three gallons per minute, you combine it together, the overall rate of change. Okay? You want to see, you want a demonstration? I don't think so. Okay, now that you, so now that we said that the, the, um, if you want words for this, the derivative of a sum is the sum of the derivatives. Right? Sum of the derivatives, derivative of a sum. It, do you think the derivative of a product is the product of the derivatives? Yes, maybe. It's like the limit thing. It is not. Oh, I knew it. Oh, I just said no. <laughs> it is actually, it is the rate of change of one of them times the other one plus the first one times the rate of change of the other one. This is not the power of one. This is a little tick mark here. It's, it's the derivative. It's the derivative of u times v times the other function and then the first function times this derivative. If you have f1 and f2 being careful to use numbers instead of the letters using subscripts. I need a laugh track there, I think, but <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Okay, anyways. I didn't really hear it. Okay. Repeat, please. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. It's it's not. I I was well. No. It's not. I, you'll, if, if, it's, at some point, I'll do it by accident. Instead of F with a subscript that's a one or a two, I'll put a letter there, and I'll probably put you know, some letter that isn't going to make it that, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <that. laughs> okay. These, this, I should have just thought that not actually said it out loud, I think, right? <laughs> um, if, you, if you have two functions multiplied together, this is like one prime times two plus two prime times one, right? You can write this either way. You can say if you have two functions multiplied together, u times v, it's u prime v and v prime u. I tend to write it this way with the u always first. It's it's uh, the first function, the derivative of that times the other function. It's kind of like, you know, when you learn to multiply binomials and stuff? Um, 
if you have if you have two if you have x plus three, you, it isn't just if you have x plus three times x plus seven, it isn't just x squared plus twenty one, right? You need those other terms. It's mm -hmm. kind of the same thing here, right? It isn't just two things multiplied. It's not really the same as that, but it's it's along when you had a hard time learning that, that's what this is. This is something I expect you to know. Okay? Yep. Well, just because of the uh, just because of the fact that traditionally in math, <laughs> the letters A, B, C are used as constants. Um, X, Y, Z are used for graphing. U and V and F and G and H are all used for functions. Don't ask me. Who who uh, who is the guy who uh, Rene Descartes who came up this up with this idea of the the of the coordinate system? Like you know how we graph things? Like somebody at some point came up with that concept of having a grid. The the the, the like early humans fifty thousand years ago didn't draw a grid. Somebody at some point came up with that idea, right? We use a grid all the time, not just in math. You use it the streets and the avenues, everything, right? Maps, people giving coordinates for things, your location. Somebody at some point came up with that idea. It is credited to a guy named Descartes, a French, uh, a French guy. The idea... Or, the story goes that he was lying, he was ill in bed one day, and he's looking at the ceiling, and there's a fly walking around on the ceiling, and the fly's just kind of walking around, I don't know, something. And he says, I wonder how I could give the position of that fly anywhere on the ceiling. He's a mathematician, he thinks about stuff like that. And he came up with the idea, well, if I knew the distance from that wall and the distance from this wall, that's its position. And that's the idea here, right? That's what coordinates are. He invented... The idea of giving co of coordinates like that. I don't know. <clears throat> Something that they had in the whenever 1500. I don't know when he lived, but I can't remember. Anyways, for some reason, when he, as he developed that idea, he decided that he was going to use X and Y, and that's kind of why we use those letters. X was going to be one direction, Y was going to be the other. If you started doing three dimensionally, you need a Z to give the other dimension. He also decided that why don't we use the letters at the beginning of the alphabet for constants, numbers that don't change like that, and then later on letters like this for functions. I don't know. That's where that comes from. So that's a very convoluted answer to your question. But uh, I, usually if you see these, you can assume they're constant numbers. They're not variables. Okay? The quotient rule is much more complicated. Not really, but it's just more to remember here. It's almost the same. Except that, what would you predict the sign in the middle would be here? It would be a minus. Except that's the same. UV prime, but it's divided by V squared H. <laughs> divided by something. Divided by V squared. Well, I uh, I don't know if I want to get into that right now. We can look up proofs for these uh, if you want. If you if you want to develop rules for these things, like if you look in the textbook, they're going to have some some proofs of these things. I would like you to use these rules to come up with the derivatives here, and then I'll give you these afterwards. In the time that we have left, this is. This is not a proof of the product rule, this problem two, but it's a way of seeing that it works. This is a function that is the product of two functions. I want you to do it two different ways. Expanding first, like doing grade nine math and then finding the derivative, or using the product rule and just confirm that you get the same thing. There's some other things here, differentiating a quotient. This is not a proof, but it's a, you'll go through and do it and see See that it works? Then you're going to talk about second derivatives, third derivatives, fourth derivatives. I think you can 
use your logic to think about what would the second derivative be? What would that term mean? And uh, and go from there. I think you can do most of what's what's left in here without too much help from me. Okay. So that's the that's the task right now.